Hey everyone, welcome to another Easy Excel tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Today I want to quickly introduce to you something called sparklines. Uh, sparklines are very small charts intended to show the general shape of the variation um, of values and to show you very basic trends and measurements. Unlike real charts, it's very difficult for you to read the actual values because there is no axes or coordinates associated with sparklines. But it gives you a very brief overview of what the trend looks like, of what the history is of a sparkline. Uh, there are three types of sparklines. There are line, column, and win-loss. Uh, and they're located in the insert tab of Excel. Uh, sparklines are as easy to use as auto sum and autofill. There's really much, not much that you need to know about it. And adding sparklines to your chart can bring on extra visual power to your presentation. So let me just give you a quick overview of what sparklines are and how you should do it. Um, there are two ways to do this. Um, you can either select where you want the sparklines to end up. Like for here, I'll, I'll just select that it'll go into B8. Um, let's do a little line sparkline and it'll ask you to choose the data range, uh, which I will do this. And press OK. And there you go. It tells you, it, it, this is a, a neat little sparkline. It shows you the trends that it went up a little bit and then went down and then went up all the way to 500. Right. Uh, the other way to do it is to select your data first go to insert uh, this time I'll do a column and now it asks you where do you want to look at where do you want uh, the data where do you want the spark line so press OK and there you go you can see the trends here as well it was little little went up and then went all the way down and then back up um, <clears throat> the third type of chart, uh, spark line that we have is called win loss uh, win loss is uh, one way to think of it is pretty much um, a one or a negative one uh, so if you've made a profit, if it's a positive value, it'll be uh, a 1. If it's a negative value, it'll be a minus 1. Um, I'll actually do it here. Since we have a negative value here, we'll do a win-loss. Uh, you'll notice that uh, these are all going to be blue except for the English, except for column, uh, except for row 6, which is negative 75. So it'll be uh, blank. Uh, the size of each of these little columns is identical. It's again, it's a win or a loss. Did you win or did you lose? That's all it. Um, let's do just a quick uh, line here. There you go. You have these three. They're really cool, right? Uh, you also have uh, ways to manipulate what it looks like. So if you want to do a sparkline color, you can change the colors. So you don't you don't want blue, you want orange. You can also have different uh, styling to the different markers. So let's say you want the high point to be uh, green. It marks it as green and you want the low point to be a red because th that's where it's the lowest. Um, the other options you have here is the first point. You want the first point to be let's say black and then the last point which is going to interfere with the high point but the high point will always take. Um, you can also uh, mark negative points here. So let's say we go here and you want to do negative points. You'll see you don't want red, you want orange. You can. So it looks really cool right here. We only have five rows of data. Uh, I created a little spreadsheet here where we have 35 lines of data. So let's do three quick little spark lines here. Right, select it all. Voila. Spark lines, right? Uh, it works with autofill as well, so you can autofill, and you can see the trends going up and down. Uh, this there's a little pattern here. Let's do one more. Let's do uh, all of them actually. So just for practice, we'll do column. Where do I want this? I want it here. There you go. And then the last one is a win loss. Select that, and there you go. Neat little spark lines. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Cool, right? And when you when you use, uh, select your spark lines, you can mess with this here. So you can actually mark the high points. You can turn on and off. You have the shows here. You also have various stylings, depending on what you want it to look like. These are cool. Um, let's go back to this one. Spark lines can also be done on rows, not just columns. So if we do an insert spark line here, there you go, and autofill down. Cool, huh? So 
next time you do a chart, you can include spark lines. These are really easy to use. You don't really need to know much at all. Uh, you can customize it based on you know what, what you have here in the design tab in the spark line tools. And you can take this and make your chart look much more professional, make it look a little bit more interesting. Uh, usually when I put this in my charts, I have people asking me like, wow, what is that? How did you get a chart so small? Uh, it's because most people don't know that's, that spark lines exist. It's just something extra for you. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, remember to subscribe. Uh, I hope, I wish everyone happy holidays. Thank you.